Good morning. Good morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Hope you're having a great day in the Lord. Welcome to the Daily Devotional. This morning, want to look at Noah's nameless wife. Of course, she had a name, but we do not know her name. Throughout church history, people have attempted to name her, but the scriptures do not get in. Our scripture passage this morning is, Come out of the ark, you and your family. Let me start all that again. It's Genesis chapter 8, verse 16. Come out of the ark, you and your wife your sons and their wives. Amen. This morning I'm using a devotional originally written by Sabra Satelli as a guide for our conversation. She writes, This morning the weatherman displayed the week ahead calendar and every single square showed rain. Even now there's a downpour outside. She mopped up the kitchen floor to remove the dog's dirty paw prints. No matter how hard we try to avoid tracking in mud, dirt, dirty floors seem to be one of the certainties of life. She's moved on to the rest of her least favorite chores, emptying the large kitty litter pans and scrubbing the outside of the kitchen trash pail. When thoughts turn to Noah's wife, Exactly who was this nameless woman of extraordinary patience, courage, and perseverance? Have you ever wondered what it would have been like to be on the ark? Have you ever wondered how Noah's wife coped when she looked out and saw no son? Where did she find hope? When the second dove came back and it had the olive branch, and they knew that the end was in sight. How did they feel? How did she feel? Did she worry about what they would find after the storm? Our own daily household keeping challenges are nothing compared with the difficulties and devastations that she experienced. We can be inspired by Noah's wife's strength and fortitude and her ability to endure the trip and start over. It had, it had once bothered all of us that she's unnamed. But perhaps she is unnamed so that all the mothers and all add fathers can resonate with her and find hope and care in Noah's wife. Let's pray. Lord our God, we give you thanks for those who have endured and those who have persevered in the faith before us. We thank you for Noah's wife. We don't even know her name, Lord. But we give you thanks for her perseverance, her endurance, her courage. Thank you, Lord, for that faith, endurance, and courage, and perseverance that we too can have even still today. In your holy and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Peace and God's blessings, friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.